Hello, I'm Renee Yager, Marketing Director for Efficient Power Conversion. In this presentation, we will showcase a new family of gallium nitride FETs that for the first time in 60 years offers designers a non-silicon technology that has both superior performance and price compared with their silicon-based counterparts. Before we discuss the specifics of the new family, why are today's leading design engineers turning to GAN? First, performance. GAN is faster and more efficient than silicon. With switching speeds currently 10 times better than state-of-the-art silicon MOSFETs, GAN enables higher efficiency, smaller size, and lower overall system costs. EPC's enhancement mode eGAN FETs have been in production for more than seven years and in a wide variety of applications and topologies. In every instance, GAN transistors have been shown to increase the efficiency of the system. Second, applications. The performance advantages of GAN are opening up new applications that expand the entire semiconductor market. And third is price. GAN is cost effective. Since their introduction, eGAN FETs have proved to be the simplest and lowest cost GAN device to manufacture, since they are processed in a standard silicon wafer foundry using standard existing silicon processing equipment. In addition, the elimination of plastic packaging further reduces the cost of manufacturing. 35 years ago, the silicon power MOSFET was a disruptive technology that displaced the bipolar transistor. The dynamics of this transistor taught us that there were four key factors controlling the adoption rate of a new power conversion technology. Does it enable significant new applications? Is it easy to use? Is it very cost effective to the user? Is it reliable? Let's now address each of these questions individually for the next generation of technology, eGAN FETs compared with silicon power MOSFETs. Does it enable significant new applications? The answer is yes. eGAN technology enables or greatly enhances many application, and here's a look at a few that are made possible primarily because of the higher switching speed of eGAN FETs and ICs. Wireless power transfer, RF DC DC envelope tracking, and LiDAR. In the wireless power transfer space, high frequency up to 6.78 MHz has been adopted as a standard frequency because it allows for a thin coil and thin shielding. While MOSFETs do not perform well at this frequency, eGAN FETs are ideal for this application. Initial applications for wireless power transfer include cell phones, game controllers, laptop computers, tablets, medical implants, and even electric vehicles. RF envelope tracking is a power supply technique that can double the energy efficiency of RF power amplifiers used to transmit all of our voice and data via satellites, base stations, and cell phones. Envelope tracking is accomplished by tracking the power demand precisely and providing the power to exactly fit the amplifier's signal modulation needs. Today, RF power amplifiers operate at a fixed power level, delivering maximum power whether or not the transmitter needs it. EGAN FETs are the first power transistors capable of tracking power demands at the high data transmission rates used in 4G and soon to be 5G LTE networks. LiDAR, light distancing and ranging, uses pulsed lasers to rapidly create a three-dimensional image or map of a surrounding area. LiDAR technology allows for high accuracy, larger coverage areas, and increased speed and efficiency of data collection. The technology has traditional applications in mapping, coastline management, geological surveys, meteorology, and natural resource exploration. Today's eGAN FET's ability to switch 10 times faster than the aging power MOSFET gives LiDAR systems superior resolution and faster response time. The sharp switching transitions that are possible with eGAN FETs and ICs enable greater accuracy. These characteristics enable new and broader applications for LiDAR, such as real-time motion detection for video gaming, computers that respond to hand gestures, and fully autonomous vehicles. Is it easy to use? EGAN transistors from EPC are designed to be very similar in behavior to existing power MOSFETs, and therefore power systems engineers can use their design experience with minimal additional training. To assist design engineers up the learning curve, EPC has established itself as the leader in educating the industry about gallium nitride devices and their applications. As a matter of fact, in addition to publishing hundreds of articles and presentations, in 2011, EPC published the industry's first GAN transistor textbook in both English and Chinese, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion. 
A second edition of this textbook was published by the worldwide textbook publisher John Wiley in late 2014. EPC has also published applications-focused textbooks, including the Wireless Power Handbook and the DC to DC Converter Handbook. In addition, EPC is working with more than 30 universities around the world in order to lay the groundwork for the next generation of highly skilled power system designers trained in getting the most out of EGAN FETs. Is it reliable? Reliability testing of GAN transistors continues to accumulate with positive results. EGAN FETs have been subjected to a wide variety of reliability tests for device qualification. These tests include high temperature reverse bias, high temperature gate bias, high temperature storage, temperature cycling, high temperature high humidity reverse bias, autoclave, and moisture sensitivity. Parts were stable under the stress conditions and are fully qualified, demonstrating the robustness of these GAN transistors. Acceleration factor tests were conducted over voltage and temperature in order to estimate the time to failure within the data sheet operating range. Under both HTRB and HTGB type stress conditions, the mean time to failure well exceeds 10 years at maximum operating temperature and at both VDS max and VGS max. These studies have further shown that EGAN FETs are able to operate with a very low probability of failures within the reasonable lifetime of end products manufactured today. Details of our reliability program and test results can be found in our published reports available for download from our website. And now the final barrier, cost. Power transistors made using GAN instead of silicon have been in production for several years. The designers of the earliest applications were driven to GAN based on the faster speeds that could be achieved when switching power. Faster switching can translate into smaller size, higher efficiency, and lower system cost. GAN transistors switch 10 times faster than silicon devices. In order to get this enhanced performance, customers paid a premium price for the state-of-the-art in power transistors. When we first introduced our products in March of 2010, we made a promise to our industry that by 2015 we would be able to produce and sell our EGAN FETs at a lower price than that of a power MOSFET with the same voltage and on resistance. Now we are being true to that commitment. Benefiting from the learning curve of the last several years, the cost of producing GAN devices has dropped to substantially lower than the cost to produce silicon devices, and EPC is bringing that benefit to the consumer with this family of devices. A new line of EGAN FETs is now available that are not only much faster and smaller than power MOSFETs with similar on resistance and voltage ratings, but these new transistors are priced favorably at comparable volumes. The power MOSFETs used for comparison in this table were selected based on having roughly comparable maximum rated on resistance and having the same maximum rated breakdown voltage. Note that the indicators of switching speed, QOSS, QGD, and QG are also shown in this table for comparison. Likewise, the capacitances are significantly less for the GAN devices than for their counterpart MOSFETs. Device area is also shown for comparison and shows that there is a 20 to 40 times size reduction in the size of the EGAN FET compared to the silicon MOSFET. Finally, in the far right columns are comparisons of low, mid, and high volume pricing as indicated on the DigiKey website at the time of product launch. To evaluate the performance of this new family, a buck converter was built using the 60 volt EPC 2035 and a 48-volt input, 5-volt output, DC to DC point of load converter, driven by the Texas Instruments LM5113, and operating at a switching frequency of 1 MHz. The waveforms are shown here. Note that despite the extremely fast switching, there is minimal voltage overshoot at the completion of the transition. With this family of EGAN FETs, the design engineer can realize lower cost, superior switching speeds, and a smaller final product when designing with these parts. The last barrier to the widespread adoption of GAN transistors as silicon MOSFET replacements has fallen. So to recap, many new applications are enabled due to the quantum leap in frequency capability of the GAN devices. Devices are easy to use because they are similar to power MOSFETs and commercial IC drivers are available. Reliability testing shows that parts are able to operate with very low probability of failures within the reasonable lifetime of end products manufactured today. And now, with this family of EGAN FETs, the last barrier has fallen. Start designing with GAN today. Thank you. 
For more information, please visit us at epc-co.com.